Carrion Combo Warriors is one of the best. Actually, I'd say it is the best Elden Ring mod at the moment. It features incredible movesets and skills that can blow your mind. However, it cannot be perfect, since it comes with an instructions file that looks like this. Holy! This thing looks like those freaking equations your math teacher will expect you to resolve with no struggling. But there is one thing in common with those equations and the instructions file that Sherlock kindly put there for us. We might not understand them, but that doesn't mean they don't work or they are wrong. That's why I'm here today. Hello everyone, my name is Carlos, welcome back to my channel, I'm so happy to be talking with you again. I'm sorry if my accent or my voice bothers you, but I guess you are here for a reason. So let's get into it. Today I'm going to explain as much clear as it's possible how to properly play this incredible mod to enjoy it at max. Carrion Combo Warriors works pretty similar to other moveset mods I have uploaded to my channel, but with a remarkable difference. Let me explain the first part like this. If you make light inputs, which is more commonly called for people as R1 attacks, you will get a normal sequence of light attacks. Keep the word sequence in your mind. Cause that word will be important for a later part of the video. It works the same way even if you hold your weapon with both hands. For those who still looking for common sense, one H means one handed and two H means two handed. The same principle applies to basic combinations of attack like it is backstep light, dodge plus light, sprint plus light and sprint plus heavy. Heavy attacks in Elden Ring are performed by pressing R2 and it has two variations. You can perform heavy attacks or charge heavy attacks. In order to charge a heavy attack, you must hold R2 till the attack is released by your character on screen. Are you saying I'm to this point, the mod works exactly the same way of any other mod. You equip the things in game that are needed to the mod to work and you are fine, you are playing and having a good time. However, in heavy attacks is where we are going to find the main differences that separates Carrion Combo Warriors from other mods. As I said before, the word sequence is really important, since the movesets included in this mod will be composed as a set of multiple attacks chained by specific variations of inputs that link the sequences creating combos. Now you understand why the mod is called like that. With that being said, let's explain how these sequences work. Let's go! In the instruction file, you will see in every weapon category, sections titled sequence A, sequence B, C, D, E and sometimes F for heavy attacks specifically. That's quite big. I am not a genius guys, but I'm pretty sure any person that has enough IQ to play video games is able to realize that A is the first letter on the ABC, the second letter is V, the third one is C and so on. Then why in the actual mods you don't get it? Nah, I'm just kidding. I know it's kinda difficult at the first moment you see it. Well, it turns out that the letters are just there to order things up which means it is only a guidance of what move you will perform depending on how you press the inputs. For instance, let's read the Twin Blade moveset instructions page. It says, wield with one hand. Light attack, Twin Blade attack. After each light attack, enter V1 with heavy attack. Please do not panic here, this only means that you can use light attacks normally without combining it with heavy inputs. But the creator explained here that after each R1 you perform, if you press R2 you will be jumping straight to the heavy attack sequence V. And if we go to the heavy attack sequence V, you will see something interesting, that there is 4 stupid variations of B. I know exactly how you feel, but it's easier than it looks. Pay attention, it says B1 charge and B1 without charge. Once again, I'm not Einstein, but I'm pretty sure one goes before two. So you are not going to jump from light attack to sequence V2. You will jump into sequence V1 and you decide in which one by holding R2 or just pressing it quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's explain both situations. That's what I'm talking about! In this case, it doesn't matter if you choose to hold R2 or press R2, you will be able to follow the sequence into V2. Nevertheless, if you charge the attack, it will look like this. 
And if you don't charge it, it will look like this. Now reading B2, it says V2 charge, triple slash enter C1 with heavy attack. And B2 without charge, upward twin slash enter A1 with heavy attack. Which means that if you hold R2, you will be able to change the sequence V with sequence C. But if you just press R2 quickly, you will jump back into A1. Let's once again explain both cases. That's why it's the GOAT! The GOAT! Supposing you pressed R2 quickly, you perform an attack and then go back to A, choosing between two variations of A1 sequence, both depending on how you press R2. Now, if you decided to hold R2, you will be able to jump to sequence C and finish the combo whether on course blood slice if you charge R2 or with a horizontal slash if you just press R2 quickly. Even after breaking down the instructions, it can still be confusing. So, let's translate it to a language we will easily understand. R1 plus R2 plus hold R2 plus R2 plus hold R2. The only thing I did was follow this route, light attack plus heavy without charge to V1, once into V1, charge heavy to V2, into V2, heavy without charge to C1, and finally into C1, charge heavy to finish the combo with the coarse blood slice C2 variation. Yes, science! I know, I know, I should get a math Nobel Prize. Or maybe you should try repeating elementary school and learn to read properly. Ah! Nah, my homies, don't take it hard, I'm just joking. Believe me, I struggled a lot to decode this equation Sherlock put as instructions. But you can just press buttons randomly and you will eventually get one combo. This video is more for all that people that actually want to unleash the full potential of the mod for clips or some crazy stuff. So that's all for my part dear friends, do not even worry, cause the fact that I made this tutorial doesn't mean that I will stop explaining the movesets of this mod. I've already covered Katana, Twin Blades, Colossal Sword, Corp Greatsword and Greatsword, I will leave these links on the description down below. And no much further away, I'm going to explain in a showcase the combos of Straight Sword and Fist moveset. That way, you will be able to perform every combo available in the best Elden Ring mod. And that's it guys, please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, it will actually help me a lot, cause this is my full time job, so I gotta eat bro. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.